there is no game plugins. There is no game plugins. You cannot find it. And game plugins cannot be installed. What's up, guys? Once again, in the S25 Ultra series. It is powered by Snapdragon, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite. And it's uh, made for Galaxy, I mean Galaxy Elite, yes. So it's a little bit uh, overclocked version of. So far, it's over good. Yes, so the chipset is faster and the uh, games look snappy and so many things. The problem is that like there is uh, so many changes in the gaming session. I will make a specific video, but the, so far what I found is that there is like uh, no game plugins, right? Right now there is no game plugins. In the game booster settings, you can have a like uh, balance uh, if it was already available previously but in individually you can change into like game optimizing you can go to performance or fps you can go to like more 60 but let's not click that one or screen resolution you can go down or it's somehow it's more like in build uh, gfx tool yes so game booster on or off so let me not use this one yes this guy so there is like uh, nothing changes and of course uh, game smoothness is uh, like 120 it's like a okay, pause it's normal here are the tools what you can do like okay auto touch protection three minutes like set power is whatever it was there and the thing is that there is no nothing no game plugins available so when there is no game plugins available means is you, you cannot check uh, gaming FPS in a Galaxy store there is no game plugins there is no game plugins you cannot find it although in Android you can uh, download from another like uh, from from APK but I tried that also and there is no possibility to do there from there also yes yeah as you can see I have already game plugin downloaded and just download yeah, it's already downloaded when you open of course you agree and the plugins cannot be installed so it's already downloaded but it couldn't be installed from the galaxy store so it's uh, like whole different things but anyway in uh, having android it's uh, good that you can do many things right in developer settings you can go to find yeah gpu was and here you can check fps or cpu in that case yes so with uh, that note let's open game hub let's open pubg mobile a little bit uh, change over here in the as you can see in the uh, gaming systems in the android phone like uh, in the samsung phone like there is a uh, like little cute small pop-up menu mm, uh, like other android phones you can where you can touch booster touch protection block edge panel and so many so many little things and with uh, this note we can go inside the gaming yeah but so there is no like something are missing grass maybe in the next update will be coming what it was like of course game plugins i use don't use to use but it was the great source to check uh, fps meters right and for uh, low in device it was also very good to to do so many tuning but it seems that those are things to watch attached inside the game booster but i don't know yeah, but in samsung cases <laughs> like that they give something new and take something which are useful right this is how samsung works but anyway with the uh, i'll show you what how it looks like in, in pubg mobile of course smooth ultra x extreme is available that means 120 fps 90 fps of course yes but in balance uh, only 90 60 fps is available just uh, balance and 60 yes yeah in lobby only 90 fps is available in home so that's normal like in combat like only 60 fps is available in smooth graphic yes in balance graphic you cannot tune in to 120 fps Why this guy don't die? So there is like a solid number of 130 appears. Of course, this is a this is like a very latest and powerful Android chip right now in the market. And of course, the gaming should be perfectly fine with this device. It's the only matter how 
the UI looks like in the Galaxy phone, right? So maybe more detail on the upcoming videos about the gaming on this device. And so far, I just wanted to show you how it looks like with the PUBG Mobile and gaming uh, gaming situations. So like for me, I still feel like uh, the One UI is a little unbaked and maybe of uh, this One UI One UI Seven. There is no plugins or more gaming functions available like before so i'm pretty sure like with the other update or like on in upcoming days this should be available with uh, all the favorite things like a uh, game game plugins uh pubs pubj app and many game booster settings right so far it's very very good uh, like uh, the fps is very solid and the game run is running very very perfectly fine in 120 fps it's very ultra smooth uh, it's not uh, many things are limited and this phone should have a very good gaming situation so that's it uh, quick video guys gaming situation on uh, s25 ultra it seems that gaming right now is more on for now for one ui 7